We go on to the political history book of the year. This is in association with News UK. Oh, we love them. And uh, let me tell you who the judges were in this category. Philip Cowley. Chris Mullen. Caroline Shenton. Keith Simpson, MP. And Stephen Twigg, MP. Here to present the award for Political History Book of the Year, would you please welcome the editor of The Sun on Sunday, it's Victoria Newton. But journalism, it is said, is the first draft of history. So how appropriate that we at News UK sponsor this award. We've been writing history for centuries with The Times and for decades with The Sun. In fact, history comes right up to date with reporters writing today back in the office on the budget. And also, the tributes being paid this week following the death of that great chronicler of political history, Tony Benn. We also reflect this year on the 100th anniversary of the start of the First World War, a history-shaping conflict that features in the very strong field of candidates this prestigious prize. And the nominees are... Churchill's First War by Con Coughlin, published by Macmillan. An English Affair by Richard Davenport Hines, published by Harper Press. Catastrophe by Max Hastings, published by William Collins. High Minds by Simon Heffer, published by Cornerstone Publishing. Great Britain's Great War by Jeremy Paxman. Published by Viking When Britain Burned the White House By Peter Snow Published by John Murray And the winner is Richard Davenport Hines Whoa, come on down Richard Davenport Hines Paddy Power Prize uh, is like the Priory Clinic, uh, giving a treatment uh, to the flagging self-esteem of authors like me who desperately need help. It was a great Philip to be shortlisted for this prize, and even far, far better to win it. Uh, it's billed uh, as, a, as a history book, but I think it's a book that resounds thunderously for, uh, for, for, for 2014 and for today. Uh, the, uh, what, uh, my book's all about sex, law, and, the politi and politicians. Uh, it's a, a, great, uh, well, my, uh, a, a great pointer to uh, how very stupid and how very unjust it is when um, police detectives and crown prosecutors start trying to turn um, matters of sexual etiquette into matters of criminal policing. And my book is also a great deal about what, is, what was wrong with the Metropolitan Police. And if I was uh, one of the judges on a committee to choose the greatest living Englishman, my vote would go for one of the, of the judges here today, Andrew Mitchell. And he, he, if, if one wants to know why he is uh, an absolute arch hero for our times now. Please read my book. Mm. Well, we're certainly all going to read it now, aren't we? That's exciting. Yeah. Hey, talk about a teaser. And, and Victoria, we're very, very grateful, actually, for Victoria being able to be here because obviously she had to slip away early from being... She was due to be at a Nigella look-alike contest this evening. Um, <laughs> slipped away early to be with us, which is fantastic. 
And if you noticed her shoes, that's the joy for me of being a touch Tommy two ways. I could fancy both her and her shoes. So, 